This is Oscar Bevis for the Stomping Ground, powered by Wow Hydrate and available on his own. Chantel, congratulations and thanks for giving me some of your time. Um, yeah, just made it look easy, like you've been doing a lot recently. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I wouldn't say it was easy. I think uh, former world champion, she was quite tricky, especially to land clean on. She was moving around a lot and uh, trying to spoil it a bit with uh, her movement, but it was a great fight, great opponent and glad I got the win. Yeah, maybe I'm not doing your last two opponents justice, but I was thinking about it. And other than that moody 95-95 scorecard, yeah. you've barely dropped a round as a Queensbury <laughs> fighter. So something's going right. Good start, good start. Uh, move to Queensbury, move to Grant Smith and I'm doing okay. Yeah, okay. Mm, maybe a little bit better than that. <laughs> um, so yeah, in terms of your performance in there tonight, do you think you showed anything that you hadn't shown us before? Obviously, second count with Grant and team. I think so. I think she was a very tricky opponent. Um, she was moving a lot. She was she was quite hard to hit clean. And when I did hit a clean, I knew I was hurting her. But again, she was moving again. And I feel like if we stood there and had a bit of a trade-off, I could have possibly got her out of there. But she made it quite hard to to get her out of there. So it was also a bit of a learning curve for me as well. I had to keep my patience. Had to keep my cool and just keep getting the rounds banked in. Yeah. Do you sometimes stand there and pray for a little trade-off? <laughs> like just stand there and think, do you know what? I feel like one right now. Like I'm I feeling one. I put my hands up high, thinking, "Come on, <laughs> come at me." <laughs> Inviting her forward. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, maybe. but it weren't happening. Yeah, not this time, anyway. Um, in terms of moving forward, obviously, I think everyone will know what you want as number one. Um, but I guess you kind of can't have one avenue. You got to look down a couple of other paths as well. Have you got about three or four different options that, in your mind, you would consider big fights and the right fights as well? Uh, yeah, there's some great opponents out there for me um, in in the women's boxing, but everyone knows what fight I want, but we'll just gotta see what happens. Yeah. Well, like there's no point of... me whispering it quietly or flirting around it. Yeah, yeah. It's Katie Taylor, it's the trilogy. It's just um, it's, so, uh, I guess that burns to... more kind of inside you than anything else. Yeah, like put it to bed, it's a uh, one apiece. There's a score to settle and that's a fight I really want to get my teeth stuck into to put that night to sleep and I think I can get the win again and I think I can finish the whole the whole fight to me and Katie by finishing it 2-1 the win to me but obviously I can't do nothing if she doesn't want to fight me again so it's one of them. Yeah. See I can't speak on her behalf and I can't speak on yours anyway but at least I can ask you do you feel like if the third fight doesn't happen there'll be a bit of a piece of the jigsaw missing do you think for both for, of your careers? For me definitely it's uh I want my redemption. It's boxing. Nobody likes losing, and there were there were close fights as well. They're entertaining fights. So for the fans, I think it's a great fight to make, and just to, for women's boxing to settle the score and keep women's boxing moving as well. They've never had a trilogy, but obviously, if Amanda Serrano wins, then they'll have their trilogy, which is also going to be another great great trilogy that could happen. But um, for me, it's I really want to put that one to bed because I know I can beat Katie. I already beat her. And the second time round, it wasn't my night. Katie got the victory, but it, everyone has an off night and it weren't my night. So are you saying you want Katie Taylor to beat Amanda Serrano? I'm a fan of Amanda Serrano, so I'm kind of like, the best woman will win. That's quite a straight edge answer. Yeah. The best woman will win. <laughs> I was thinking, I mean, it also adds into quite a good narrative, you being a former matchroom fighter. Um, this 5v5, Katie does win. Why can't you two head up the five v five? Hundred percent. If Katie wins, send us on that five v five. It, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Going back at your old team, Matram. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you seen Frank Smith and some of the Matram lawyers? I did. Yeah, I was actually yeah, seen Frank around the hotel and stuff, and sat down and was talking to him. To be honest. Did he mention a five v five in you and Katie? No, nah, of course he didn't. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll send him a DM and just uh, ask him what he thinks about the 5v5. Um, what about Natasha Jonas? That's a really interesting yeah, fight. I like and, that fight. Yeah, uh, I like that fight, especially because got so much respect for Natasha Jonas. That's a definite. Anto was actually talking about that fight, making it next year, but obviously got to see what happens in November with Katie and Amanda and kind of just got to sit back and, and wait, see what happens there, and then next year probably nowhere more where I'm heading. Yeah, see, I know you want to make money. You want to win titles, but are them legacy fights the most important? Like, I guess when you look back, you probably look at the two fights with Katie and the McCaskill fight, I guess, as like your legacy fights. Um, and Mary McGee. Want, Mary yeah? McGee was probably one of my toughest fights. Yeah. Like, she was Do you want to add to that list of legacy oh, fights? 100%, yeah. It's kind of like, I will come undisputed. I won the belts, and it's great to have the belts, but I've kind of done that now where 
now I'm more going after them fights that I can get my teeth stuck into, share the ring with other great boxers and go out remembering that I box the best and seeing how good I really am. Brilliant, I appreciate your time, Thank Chantel. You. Have you got kind of a final message to those who are in there for you tonight and those who are waiting on, hopefully, yeah. a big announcement? Thank you for coming to Birmingham to support me. And again, thank you to Frank Warren, Queensbury, George, Anti, Grant for getting me ready. Just everyone who's been in my team and backing me and believing in me and the supporters that come down to Birmingham. Appreciate it. See you in Texas? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Cause a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Go out there, tables. cause a bit of trouble. <laughs> Try and take the heat off Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Bit of limelight, no? Imagine, nah. Maybe.